Reflections on Buildings, brought to you by the Los Altos Art Docents. For this project, you'll need one sheet of paper. Drawing paper works best because it's a little heavier than printer paper. Some water-based markers, a paintbrush, sponge, or wet paper towel to spread water, and a small container of water. So what is a reflection? A reflection happens when light bounces off a smooth, shiny surface, such as a body of water, to work like a mirror to project an image back at you. In this lesson today, you'll draw several buildings with markers, and then you'll use a fun trick to create a beautiful reflection of your buildings. To inspire your drawings of buildings, we'll look at some famous paintings of buildings. The buildings in these works of art can be found in different types of communities where people live and work. They can be in an urban community or city, a suburban community like Los Altos, which is a residential area near a city, or a rural community such as a farm, forest, or desert area. You can be thinking about what types of buildings you would like to draw as you look at these famous works of art. What's happening in this painting? It's raining. How do you know that it's raining? The umbrellas, gray colors, and wet cobblestones all give us clues that it is raining. What types of buildings do you see? In what type of community would you find these buildings? Urban, suburban, or rural? Tall buildings and many people give us clues that this is a city in an urban community. It's a painting of Paris, France from more than 100 years ago. Can you see a reflection in the wet cobblestones? What types of buildings do you see in this painting? In what type of community would you find them? Urban, suburban, or rural? The farms and lots of open space tell us that this is a rural community. Notice the horse and rider on the road. Where do you think the rider is going? Can you find a reflection in this painting? I'll give you a hint. It's in the water. Let's take a look at another print. What is it? This is a painting of a skyscraper in New York City called the Radiator Building, painted by the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. What time of day is it in the painting? What time of year? What clues does the artist give you to let you know? What types of buildings do you see in this painting? In what type of community would you find them? This is an example of a suburban community in Massachusetts. Close your eyes and open them again. Look at the painting. What do you see first? An artist will often add an object in a bright color that focuses your attention on a particular part of the painting. The artist who painted this painting is named Mitchell Johnson. He's a living artist who lives and works in Palo Alto. Let's look at one more work of art. This one is a woodblock print of a building sitting on the edge of a lake. What type of building is this? What do you think it might be used for? In what country do you think you might find it? This is a temple or shrine used for prayer near Tokyo, Japan. Can you see the reflection of the temple in the lake? Notice the reflection is not as bright or clear as the temple itself. Let's get started. Begin by folding your paper in half. Either direction will work, hamburger or hot dog fold. Now open up your paper and draw your buildings on the top half of the inside of the folded paper. What types of buildings will you draw? Tall skyscrapers in an urban city? Farms or ranches in a rural setting? Or homes in a residential community? Your reflection will work best if you draw large buildings with bold colors like Georgia O'Keeffe's Radiator Building or Mitchell Johnson's Homes. Color the sky in the background to tell a story about your buildings. What is the time of the day? The season? How about the weather? Maybe add a few clouds. The bottom half of your paper will be a body of water that will reflect your buildings. So let's add some water. You'll paint the bottom half of the page with water. We'll use a paintbrush to apply water, but any sponge or even paper towel will work. Cover the bottom half of the paper with water, but don't make puddles of water or it'll get too wet. Refold your paper in half and give it a good back rub. Make sure to get the corners and the edges. Open it back up and admire the beautiful reflection of your buildings in the water. 
If your buildings didn't show up on the bottom half of the paper, try painting a bit more water on the bottom half and fold it and rub again. Have fun creating your reflections on buildings and try the project again with some different buildings.